What I want to do in this video is calculate the equivalent spring constant of this system of springs. And we are told that all the springs have a spring constant of K. Now, before I go through and simplify the springs that you see, I want to go over what happens if we have springs that are in parallel. So we have springs that sort of look like this. And we have springs that are in series. So we have springs that look like this. And these sort of look like resistors, but when we're dealing with springs, it's reversed. So springs in series are like resistors in parallel. Springs in parallel are like resistors in series. So if I have a spring constant K1 and I have a spring constant K2, these are springs. So my equivalent spring resistant, uh, my equivalent spring constant Ke is going to just be K1 plus K2. Now, if I have springs that are in series, let's call this K3 and K4, my equivalent spring resistant uh, my equivalent spring constant is equal is 1 over Ke is equal to 1 over K3 plus 1 over K4. And you have to remember, it's really important that you're not, when you do this equation, you're not figuring out the spring constant directly. You're figuring out 1 over the spring constant. So you need to take the inverse. Alternatively, you can figure it out directly by saying it's equal to K3, K4, divided by K3 plus K4. And then you don't need to take the inverse. So now that we've gone over how to, let me write this. So this is if they're in parallel, and this is if they're in series, we have enough information to simplify this system. So when we're trying to figure out the equivalent spring constant, we want to break it down. If you're familiar with systems of resistors, just like that, we want to look at this and we want to say, okay, this right here is a bunch of springs that are in parallel. So if I look at that and I'm going to draw this over here, I have this one has a spring constant of K. This one, has a spring constant also of K. Well, these are in parallel. So my equivalent spring constant for this part right here, I can replace those two springs with a spring constant of K plus K, which is equal to 2K. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to modify this as we go. So we were able to get rid of these two. And we were able to put an equivalent spring constant right here of 2k. All right, so now what do we see? Well, I see that you can take these right here, and those are two springs that are in series. So if I take this one, and then I have this one, this is 2k and this is k, the equivalent spring constant is 1 over Ke is equal to 1 over 2K plus 1 over K. So now we need to add it and take the reciprocal. Well, we can add these by saying, all right, let's multiply this by 2 over 2. So this becomes really 2K. And now I'll get this is equal to 3 over 2K. But you have to remember, we have to take the reciprocal. So we have to invert this and we get that my equivalent spring constant is two thirds K. Now I want to go through right now and show you that I can get the same answer using this. So if I have K, uh, K3 is 2K times K, which is K divided by K3, which is 2K plus K k well this is equal to 2k squared over 3k my k's are going to cancel so that square is going to go away and that's going to 
that k is going to go away and i get two thirds k which is the same thing i have right here so now what i can do is i can replace this with an equivalent spring constant of two thirds k well what's the next step i have another spring that's in parallel so this is k this one over here is what we just replaced as 2k or 2 over 3k and these are again these are both connected to a wall or something so these are also in parallel and we have this equivalent spring constant is k plus two thirds k so what's that well if we multiply that by three over three we'll get this is equal to five over three k so now we can replace this by five over three k now the last thing we have is a two springs that are in series so we're going to have my one over k e is equal to one over k plus one over five over three k well i can do a couple of things first i want to get rid of this fraction in the denominator so i'll have one over k plus three over 5k now i can multiply by 5 over 5 which is like multiplying by 1 and i get this is equal to 8 over 5k uh, take the uh take the inverse and i get my equivalent resistance or my equivalent spring constant of this entire system is 5 eighths k and that is the answer and now I just want to prove that this, in case you like this method better, it's going to be k times 5 thirds k over k plus 5 thirds k. So here we'll add a 3 over 3. So this will be 5 over 3k over 8 over 3, uh, this is a k squared, 8 over 3k. This k is going to cancel out. This k is going to cancel out. When we get rid of this fraction, we're going to get the same thing. We're going to get this ke is equal to 5 over 8k. So it's still a valid way to find your equivalent resistance, whichever way you like better. So hopefully this video has helped you learn how to simplify a system of springs to find the equivalent spring constant.